Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Metal Work Monday. My name is Gary. Uh, some of you know that follow the daily Shop Life series of videos uh, on the other channel. Um, we recently purchased this uh, Monarch 10 EE lathe. Um, and by the way, if you don't watch the daily Shop Life videos and don't know about them, I'm going to leave a link in the description and put it in, put a card for you here as well. Um, so we, we, we got the lathe and we need a way to get it off the trailer. Um, the gantry crane that we have is not rated uh, for enough weight. This is 3,500 pounds. We've also bought a mill, that uh, Cincinnati mill, that weighs about 4,500 pounds uh, that we'll be getting next week. So both of these things, we've got an issue with getting them off the trail and getting them in here. Uh, you're probably asking lots of questions. Why don't you use a forklift? Why don't you use this, that, and the other? Um, there's a lot of reasons why we're doing it this way, and just trust me, this is the way it's got to be done. Uh, forklifts are around here are $400 a day to rent and you know just to get this off the trailer it's not worth that so anyway we're going to build two of these um, heavy-duty dollies um, and it's the casters are rated for 2,500 pounds each and we'll have one cradle fitting up on this end and one fitting on the other end uh, and they'll be on a track outside the door and I've got a friend that's got a tractor with a, a bucket on it to, to load it unload it off the tractor and set it onto these dollies. So anyway, the purpose of the video is just to take you through the steps uh, we use to build these, uh, to custom fit around the equipment, uh, mainly to fit around the mill. They're oversized to fit the, uh, the lathe, um, but the extra width is for the mill. So let's get to it.
All right, so here's why you should do all your drilling before you get your machine assembled <clears throat> so you don't work yourself into a, an issue like this. But uh, fortunately, we've got the mag drill. We're going to be able to make this work. What we're doing is we're going to put two three-quarter inch bolts in here and have a pad out here so that when the weight of this machine comes in, we'll tighten those bolts down onto the sides of the machines. We'll put a block of two by four or something in there to you know, keep it from damaging it. And, and that way we're, we'll be using the frame of the machine as part of the structure of this and uh, use it to our advantage to keep the weight from, you know, uh, crushing this or bending it, bowing it, whatever. So, uh, so we're gonna put two holes in it, uh, basically coming in here and then we'll uh, weld a nut, three quarter inch bolt, eight inches long. So we'll get to it.